welcome to another edition of Repro Roundup, where we compare original vintage accessories to their reproduction counterparts. On today's installment, the Gaffy Stick. The day has finally arrived. You've saved up all of your change for months to buy the figure, the one figure that completes your collection. You open up the box, rip open the packaging, and there it is. Your one figure, and it is glorious. But wait, what is that with your figure? Could that be a reproduction accessory? At 5 It Is Talking Toys, we're here to help you identify whether your accessory is original or reproduction. With the Repro Roundup. Hello again everybody, this is John from 5 Videos Talking Toys and today we're going to be talking about the Gaffy Stick. Okay, so we have the Gaffy Stick here. On the left, as usual, is the original and on the right is the reproduction. Okay, so a couple of the characters, and again, there's probably three or four different uh, versions of the Gaffy Stick from different factories and uh, stuff like that. Uh, different lines, whether it be A New Hope or The Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. But we're looking at the characteristic differences between the original and the counterpart. Now this one is a little beat up. Alright, so you can see that it is that old Kenner plastic, right? It's a little flexible. Alright. Pretty flexible. Um, and this is what it looks like. There's where it came off the sprue. Right, it's brown, like a chocolate brown in color. And you can see through the fins or the fletch that a cat got a hold of it. Or something, or a dog, or something got a hold of it. Anyway, so that's the original. And then this is the reproduction. The thing with the reproduction is, it's also pretty flexible. I don't want to bend it too much because I don't want to break it. I want to keep this one kind of intact. But this one is painted. Just like with the Yoda. Right? Most of the reproductions that you're going to find will be painted. Uh, not all of them, but most of them. Alright, so uh, little, let's, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Um, it looks like, I mean, it looks spot on. I mean, as far as the difference here, the only, the really, the only paint difference is this is a little more, it's a grayish brown, I guess. Then, and the other is kind of like a chocolate brown, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, so there's those two right there. And they look a really, really similar. It's hard to tell in photos a lot of times with the gaffy stick, whether it's original or not. I mean, the same angle of the head here. All right, the point's a little worn down because I drew a picture with it. I drew a sand person. Um, so anyway, let's do the old float test. There's the Wata, and we'll start with the original. Blink. She's a floater. And then let's look and see if the reproduction floats or sinks. It also floats, but look at the difference, the different way that it floats. It's floating and now it's sinking a little bit, right? It's kind of like top heavy. And if you push it a little bit more, it goes down to the bottom. But did you see when I, when originally, when I tested it, when I dropped it in there, uh, it kind of, was top heavy and sunk in like that, right? But this one is an original and it floats for sure. Rises back to the top. So with the gaffy stick, if it sinks, it stinks. If it floats, it's the goat. Thanks again and we'll see you next week.